live in a great age of discovery. Uh, we are learning so many things about uh, our universe. We're learning so many things about uh, the planets and so on. But for that, we need to take uh, big spacecraft and look at things up close. Nowadays, uh, people, especially universities, are looking into launching really small spacecraft. Spacecraft as small as this little cube I have in here. So uh, if you want to launch something like this, it's cheap. But then it's very limited what you can do with it. So you need, for example, an engine that can make this run from one place to another. Uh, in, at MIT, that's specifically what we're working on. We're trying to produce a propulsion system that we could put in a little cube like this and make it move the way a big satellite does. We have built a magnetic levitation system that levitates a small satellite inside a vacuum chamber. This vacuum chamber is used to simulate all the aspects of space. This magnetic levitation system works by running a controller that fixes the position of the satellite vertically. This is done using an electromagnet and some magnets attached to the satellite. Once the satellite is floating inside this chamber, the thrusters that are attached to this satellite are going to be fired. Afterwards, the motion is going to be analyzed and direct measurements of this thrust is going to be calculated. These measurements are important because they prepare the system for an actual flight. So our thrusters are micro-machined using exactly the same kind of tools that are used in machining electronics, microelectronics components. In this way, we can make them really, really small. So the components inside the thruster are just a few microns in size. And that allows us to package everything in a very, very compact structure. Each one of these is able to move one of those cubes in space the same way that a bigger engine can move a bigger spacecraft. A bigger engine like that one on my back. So this is a very exciting kind of thing and hopefully will help us to launch more missions and make more discoveries in the years ahead.